Hello, I'm CP and in this video I'm going to be reviewing these beautiful handmade loafers from Maglia Pelli. So Maglia Pelli, while quite hard to pronounce properly, I'm probably doing it wrong, it means woven by hand in Italian, but it's actually a Turkish brand and they want to you know, let everyone know that they are Turkish and that is their identity and for good reason. These are very unique shoes, they're absolutely beautiful in this forest green colour and they're 100% handmade. These are called the Kunda loafers, uh, they're a tassel loafer and uh, unfortunately you can't see the soles anymore because uh, I've been wearing them a bit but they do have a lovely finish which you can see in the written review and below where I took the photo, took some photos when I first unboxed them. Uh, they're uh, made by I think about 15 people, each, each expert in their field. The leather is hand cut, hand stitched and the construction is using um, the Opanka method which is said to be one of the oldest and maybe even one of the best most robust construction methods out there. As for the comfort and fit, so these are well if I don't know if it's been published yet or if it has already been published but we already did the Pamukele Brogues by Maglia Pelli as well there's definitely a written review that you can already read down uh, in the description below. Um, so the brogues were a little bit traditional dress shoes, they were quite hard and maybe not incredibly comfortable because they are traditional dress shoes but these are lovely to wear, they're very cosy, quite flexible just where you want them to be but not too flexible that the leather begins to crease. Uh, in terms of uh, the sizing, so we had a couple of uh, back and forth with Uma who is one of the uh, business partners of Maglia Perelli um, and uh, we had a, a couple of issues that for me these were too big but he quickly stellar customer service helped us out finding the right size for us and they assured us that this was a one-off occasion and that this has not happened to any of their other customers who have always sort of given rave reviews and said that they are true to size so when would I wear these these are excellent shoes for uh, business casual occasions or a special occasion when you want to stay relatively casual and you don't want to go uh, over the top but still stand out and pop because they've been hand painted they have this beautiful burnished finish as well and they look stunning with chinos or even if you want to go for laid back business professional attire I'd be very tempted to wear them every day as a casual shoe but they are quite precious and so I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to damage them I want to really reserve them for special occasions when I'm going somewhere and I want to make an impression or just look my best uh, I've been wearing them, for example, as you'll see in some of the cutaways, not like this, I was wearing this when I was testing the Pamukale, um, Pamukale brogues, but I was actually wearing a green tweed blazer that really popped with these shoes and uh, some grey tweed slacks and a, I think it was a striped white shirt. How have you wear them? These are very versatile, being tassel brogues. Uh, you can see below we've got a couple of style guides regarding tassel loafers, when to wear them, where to wear them, how to wear them. Um, these are great for just about any occasion, but they'll never be too formal that you'll be able to really wear them in a quite conservative business professional environment. So before we conclude, let's talk about the value for money and the overall experience. So as you'd expect, it comes in a nice little cardboard box. You get a, uh, you get a shoe bag here, which is made out of a uh, sort of nylon material which is very dust resistant I've noticed it's kind of anti-static as well uh, a much needed shoehorn uh, you will definitely need this when putting the shoes on because if you're going to have shoes that properly fit you don't want to damage the back as you're kicking them off or slipping them on you really want to be careful because these are like I said quite special you also get um, a little buffing pad uh, so with regards to maintaining these shoes I was speaking to Umar back at uh, Maglia Pirelli who told me that um, well unfortunately for the soles there's not much you can do these will wear but you can slow down anywhere with um, with some irons or some blakies on the toe and on the heel but with the design unfortunately that is something that will eventually wear down but when it comes to the leather he suggested that rather using polish use the uh, buffing pad on regular occasions and then after a couple of months to a year of wear you can use uh, a renovating uncolored 
clear uh, leather polish just to really bring out the leather but also respect and stay loyal to the, um, the finisher's uh, original intentions. When we're talking about value for money, so these shoes are going to be a little bit pricey because they are entirely made by hand and made from premium materials as well. So you're looking at about 300 US dollars. I'm not exactly sure, I can't precisely remember the price, but I think it's around the 300 dollar mark. If you look in the description below, you'll find a link to go to Maglia Pelli and check these out for yourselves um, and also see the other offerings they have. And I think these loafers come in different colors as well. Personally, I absolutely was smitten by the green. I think it's a unique and very uh, engaging color. And I do love those natural earthy tones as well. As you can see, I often wear green ties and brown suits. So that's just me. To conclude, just like the Pamukkale Brogues, these are very special, almost one-of-a-kind shoes. Being with their whole background story of being handmade and crafted by some experts in Istanbul, which is really inspired by an Italian design but has been made unique thanks to that Turkish identity, these are very special and beautiful shoes to say the least. I absolutely love them and I'm really looking forward to wearing them on a, regu on a regular basis. That said, I do want to be careful with them and take good care so I really get make the most out of it. But if you're into this kind of artisanal craftsmanship, then I highly recommend that you check out Maglia Perelli. There are links below to our brand overview, but also to the shoes themselves and the written review. Check them out and see what you think. And tell us what you think as well by leaving a comment. Uh, don't forget to like, uh, like this video if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button as well because we'd love you to come and come back and leave us more comments and speak to us again in the future. Let's make this a community. Let's make this special. Anyway, I'm CP. Until next time, take care. <laughs>